Okay, in number two, we're asked to find all points on the y-axis, which are three units from the point negative one five. So it's best to sketch the problem situation. So let's get the x and y axis up here. And let's plot the point uh, negative one five. So I go to the left one and go up five. So here's the point we're talking about. The first question we should always ask in a word problem is, is it reasonable that there are answers to begin with? So let's look at a point on the y-axis. Now being on the y-axis, the only thing I know about it is that the x value is zero. The y value is some number. So is it even reasonable to expect that there would be a point on the y-axis? that is three units away. Well, the point on the y-axis closest to negative one five is going to be the point uh, zero comma five. And that is exactly one unit away because I'm at the x-coordinate negative one. So that's exactly one unit away. So as long as I'm looking at points or distances that's are, that are one or larger, I should be able to find a point that's three units away. And in fact, if I find one point that's three units away, I really ought to be able to find another one. And these points should be symmetrically distributed about the point zero five. So not only do I expect one answer, I expect two answers. Okay? So I'm looking for the magic y value so that the distance from negative one five to this point is exactly three units. So let's write that down. So I need, I need the distance from negative 1, 5 to the point 0, y to equal 3. And now I invoke the distance formula. What is the distance formula? You take the difference of the x values, square them, add to that the difference of the y values, squared, add them up, take the square root. That has to be equal to 3. We can simplify this. 0 minus a negative 1 is a positive 1, and you square that, you get 1. Okay, so now we solve for y, and we'll go back to our intermediate algebra knowledge. To get rid of that square root, we're going to square both sides. And that'll give us 1 plus y minus 5. Quantity squared is 9. To get the y by himself, I can subtract 1 off both sides to get the square by itself. So I have y minus 5 squared is 8. And now to undo the squaring, I can take the square root of both sides. Now when I take the square root of something squared, I'm left with the absolute value of that thing. And the square root of 8, I can write as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, which gives me 2 square root of 2. I can drop the absolute values at the price of a plus or minus, and I get y minus 5 is plus or minus 2 square root 2. And then for my final answer, I can add 5 to both sides. And so I get my final answer here for y, add 5 to both sides, is 5 plus or minus 2 square root 2. So what are the points on the y-axis, which are 3 units from negative 1, 5? The points on the y-axis, they've got an x-coordinate of 0, and the y-coordinates are 5, plus or minus 2 radical 2. And as we indicated, there's a symmetry about the point 0, 5. So it's, I go up 2 radical 2, so I'm going up square root 8, so I'm going up roughly 3 units, and then I'm going to be going down roughly 3 units. The way you could check your answer, which is a good exercise, is to take these, and plug them back in, and check that the distance is 3. So that'll do it for number two.